Hey, what's up guys? I recently decided to start learning the digital drawing and to do that I had to buy the graphic monitor. So I was choosing in between big brands such as Wacom or Huion, but I found out that they are overestimated at the market right now, which makes them expensive firstly, and secondly, they are too heavy, which makes them not that portable. So I decided to come up with something cheaper and lighter. It's a new 15.6 inch graphic monitor with 1920 by 1080 IPS LCD screen called Coast 16 by Parblo. Let's check it out. Parblo's products are more affordable than competitors have because of technology and materials are different. Apparently it doesn't have AG nanobit screen surface which imitates paper as vacuum monitors do. This is just anti glare glass. But that's the one reason why the price is so attractive. Here how it looks like. It has 72% NTSC color gamut with 170 viewing angle, which is great. I really like this matte surface, very minimalistic design. There are 8 shortcuts plus 1 wheel. From my point of view, that's even more than enough. Another big plus is 30 degrees fixed stand. Parablo finally did that and I do appreciate it. Next comes the fan case. Here how it looks like. Parablo, woo! All right, here's the awesome fan. We have one button over here. This is the button and on the top which is used as an eraser over here, the logo. It looks legit, not that heavy, not too light, so I like it very much. There is one more box, let me open it. With a Pablo cleaning tissue, the cables, manual, CD with the drivers, and an artist glove. Now for the cords, we have the HDMI in and out, USB Type-C and two USB ports. Parblo has also increased the rapid rate speed measured in RPS. Basically, it measures how many times per second the tablet or the monitor sends the information about the stylus position or the pressure back to the computer. For nowadays, tablets 200 RPS is considered to be okay. However, new Coast 16 has 250 RPS, which is an excellent result and it's faster than other Coast or Mast versions. Alright, let's connect it to the laptop. If you're using the MacBook, you'll have to use the adapters. This one is for MacBook Air and this one is for MacBook Pro. As you can see, the ports are different, the Thunderbolt and Type-C. Mine is MacBook Air, so I'll use this adapter. This is for the HDMI and USB goes here. Let's take the monitor now. Let me adjust the camera. USB Type-C goes here and then HDMI goes here. To run the monitor, you first of all have to download and install the drivers. So you go to parvlo.com, support, Coast 16, and there is only one pack for Mac. So you download it. It will ask to reboot the computer, so agree. Guys, very important, do uninstall other monitor or other version drivers, otherwise Coast 16 will not work. Once you turn on the computer, you go to Quick Setup. So this is the driver menu. You can change the settings for the buttons. You can change the shortcuts. You 
You can also change how soft or hard your pan is. It's quite important to calibrate your pan for the first time. So for the windows it's not that different. There are two packs and you first of all download the newest version. If it's not working then try the old one. By the way, pen sensitivity is 8192 levels which allows you to draw both thick and thin lines more accurately and precisely and there is no jump when changing in between them.
So in conclusion, I'd like to say that I very much like this monitor, so I do suggest you buy it, especially if you want to have the access to the drawing 24-7 everywhere. Uh, also, if you enter a special coupon, check, tag, on the official website of parvlo.com, you can get 10% off. So guys, do it quickly. And that's it for today. Smash the like button as usual, subscribe for the channel, and see you next time.